John, uh, not the perfect conditions today for a game of football, but your team had a great win. Yeah, I think, you know, considering the conditions, the football was, was brilliant. Because uh, there was a lot of good football there. In the conditions, you know, with the greatest respect, even in the dugout, but sitting in the stands, you didn't appreciate how bad the wind is out there. So trying to play football is no easy. So I think, considering the conditions that we had, I mean, we've created chance after chance after chance. You know, say them team times, we're a very, very attacking team. You know, uh, the first half, the only criticism or uh, being disappointed in the first half would have been the fact that we, we won them more goals ahead. Because we had, you know, great chances. Balls across the face of the goal, just looking for tapping. Second half, balls across the face of the goal, looking for tapping. Chance after chance after chance. And, uh, yeah, I think the, the only thing you'd be a little bit disappointed about was uh, the fact that we didn't score more goals. We ended up scoring four and we could have scored, you know, a right good few more. But a really, really good performance overall. I thought we dominated the first half. Pages had very little to do. We keep a clean sheet. Uh, defensively we were good Blaine in his second game you know you see the engine that he's got for getting up and doing he's linked up very well doing that right hand side with Callum Morrison who had a great game as well Callum uh, the energy levels again that we've got doing there the pace that we've got going down that side now is frightening uh, but Kola was strolling the game until he gets himself sent off we'll have to look, look at that and if there's a if we feel there's room for a, an appeal then we, we'll see but I've not seen it back Sean strolled the game Leon did fine I uh, thought Stephen McGinn and uh, Liam Henderson were excellent in there, controlled the game for us, won the ball back for us, obviously Liam being such a tall lad he wins headers for us in there in the midfield area which has made a, a difference to us as well and Stephen gets his other goal, uh, Aidan again will be very high up there in 12 something K or nearly 13 K uh, involved in all sorts of things throughout, throughout the game for us, it's a really really good first goal that we score great ball in behind breaking the lines and Callum takes it well uh, second goal I thought we would have liked to have had that a little bit earlier than, the, than we got it but delighted when it came you know the ball in the box and breaking in there with all of that happening obviously Stephen gets in and gets his goal Roman and scores and then Callum with his free kick so he's had a he's had a, a really good day today Callum you know he's very much in form uh, flying at the moment so long may that continue uh, Kai, unfortunately we had to take Kai off, we had to get a centre back on the pitch when we went down to 10 men so that was a, you know, that was a, a blow to have to take anyone off but unfortunately we, we felt probably the best shape to come up with would be with, with Kai coming off uh, Brad going in there, Nizzy just slides into left mid, uh, we need the energy levels and uh, you know Nizzy will go up and down the pitch and uh, Callum just flatten off into a four and I thought Gary Oliver up front worked his socks off, he brought the team into the play, it was excellent in both halves, linking the play, second half in particular, making runs in the channel, holding the ball up, bringing others into play and Gary will be a little bit frustrated in the score today because he's done everything bar score, he's had a really, really good game. So, uh, you know, good all round team performance, DG, uh, sorry, PJ's had a save um, from a header from the free kick which was very, very important at that time in the game. Yeah, a good day. In terrible conditions, but we managed to put on a show. Uh, when I know everyone here would be like, you know, the wind chill today, very low temperatures with the wind chill. Uh, so, you know, thanks for everyone who came along today. It's very, very much appreciated. Uh, you know, all season, you guys have been turning up big, big numbers, supporting the team, backing the team, and hopefully there's more to come. We've got now Scottish Cup tie uh, against Aloha and uh, obviously we want to run in the cup so does everyone so Alalo they've got a positive result today we've got a positive result so you know good game to look forward to next week and we're building a, a good bit of momentum now as well yeah exactly it's all about that you know three wins three last three league games uh, don't know what it is unbeaten seven or something unbeaten or something like that uh, in the league yeah so momentum a little bit of consistency in team perf uh, selection today same team as last week which comes to the guys doing the business and, you know, it would be nice to have done well today, kept the same team. That could be an issue with, with Cole being suspended, or, you know. So, that's what it is. We'll just ourselves down and we'll, uh, you know, get preparing for the Scottish Cup tie next week. With, uh, with it being confirmed but during the week by Rangers that Juan Allegria had now been recalled uh, to Ibrox and then obviously we won't go into it too much but returning to Colombia for, for family reasons uh, is that an area you're looking to, to strengthen this month? As I said the other night uh, yeah, it, was a, it was an area we were trying to strengthen anyway because we, we believe that uh, you know, in the striking department we, 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 we could still be taking a lot more of the chances even today you can see again even although Gary's been excellent you know, still looking for 
someone who's down the bottom back and out on a regular basis. And it doesn't necessarily always have to be the number nine, you know, but that's what we would have been looking for. Now, they are the absolute hardest thing to find because everyone is looking for them. And we're not exactly going there with a, you know, a blank checkbook, unfortunately. You know, we're, we're in the loan market. That's where we are. We're in the loan market. That's, you know, where we're at, more or less. Uh, so, you've got no control in the loans. You're asking clubs and you're, you're at their beck and call and it'll be when they want to let someone go, you know, and although we would like to get somebody in, I would like to get somebody in, someone in by now, you know, but clubs are maybe go two or three clubs looking for their, this one player and they want to maybe wait and see what happens and this and that and the player might want to wait and see what's happening and so, yeah, as I say, you're, you're, you're very much at their mercy. Uh, we have a num oh, names, names coming out of my ears. Uh, and checking things and, and all that type of thing and, and, it, and if, if it's frustrating for fans I can assure you myself and Paul are frustrated in the living daylights with us and Alan Fraser so it's uh, you know don't think for one minute we're sitting on our hands because we're certainly not but it's very frustrating that we're still known uh, you know you can see the sense of frustration we're trying like anything but it's no easy and just finally, John, you mentioned a few moments ago the, the Alloa game coming up in the Cup. Uh, with that, that kind of head of steam that we're now building in the league, does the Cup game come at a good or a bad time? Yeah. I think, you, you know, you may have asked me something like this before, and I've always played the same same answer in this and over the years that you just play the cards you're dealt, you know. It's, a, it's now a Scottish Cup tie. We're in a good place. We look forward to it, and uh, I'm sure Alloa are looking forward to it. So two teams going for it. And uh, that's exactly how the game will get played. I'm sure Brian's team will have a go. Uh, we, we, it's the only way we know. Still have a go. And hopefully we come out on top. And then we, hopefully we're building momentum for going into the Edinburgh game. And, you know, maybe January can be a, a big month for us. Well, here's hoping. John, congratulations on the win today. And as always, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.